What's going on y'all? Rhyme time here and today I will be going over what I am carrying in my 2022 northbound through hike of the Florida Trail starting January 10th. Um, right here I have a 40 liter Hyperlite 2400 uh, Windrider pack. Uh, it is inherently waterproof and, and everything that I'll be carrying weighs just under 12 pounds. So um, I'll go ahead and get everything laid out here, touch on every item. And, um, and just show you what All I'm All right, carrying. so I've got everything laid out here on my footprint of my tent. Uh, I got a pretty long list here and it's relatively windy, so I'll try to bang this out and not lose anything with the wind. Um, starting up here on the top left, I have a Makalu Lucky Core Light trekking pole. I'm only gonna carry one of those because right here I have a Six Moon Design Sun Reflective Umbrella. That's an integral piece to the, uh, to the kit this year, um, simply because of the exposed road walks. Um, Z light butt seat here. Um, attaching to my trekking pole, I have a GoPro mount. Um, I've never used anything like this before. I've never blogged on the go. Um, and this is what I'm recording off of right now is a GoPro Hero 9. Um, extra Go GoPro battery. Um, all the cables. Um, I've never backpacked with um, with a watch or like a GPS Garmin watch before. So this is a Phoenix 6X Sapphire. This is going to give me more than anything that I'll ever need. Um, so that'll be pretty fun to track um, track my progress. Um, cable to charge that. Uh, minimalistic uh, med kit here. I've got some blister blister stuff, um, antibiotic, triple ointment, tape, stuff like that. Um, nail clippers I think are in there too. Um, standard Apple headphones, Apple block and cable. Right here I have a 20,000 milliamp uh, mobile battery and that should last me two plus weeks. Um, USB-C cable to charge. Um, charge the anchor battery and all these cables minimal uh, miscellaneous items are going to go right into this silky um, silky stuff sack here um, right here I have a Petzl bindy rechargeable 200 lumen headlamp and then a uh, three USB slot um, charger for uh, for in town and like I said all of this miscellaneous stuff this will go in here and then um, yeah it'll all be put together nice and neat food bag here pretty standard from z packs i've carried something like this on every trip that i've ever done two and a half liter platypus um basic trail spoon total overkill here with the bench made knife 154 centimeters um total overkill but you know fun to have um for the water filtration i have a steri pen ultra this is also rechargeable um, tripod for um, charging off of my, or sorry, for uh, recording off of my phone. Um, I do have a hip clip here from OtterBox. It came with the uh, with the OtterBox um, case, so I've never used anything like that before. But we'll give it a whirl. Um, basic sweat rag, Patagonia fanny pack. Um, love this thing. Ever since I started carrying a fanny pack on trail, I won't I won't go without it. Cedar to Summit honeycomb style sleeping pad. Um, and this is a mountain equipment uh, helium down um, quilt. I think it's rated at 30 degrees. And this is in a 6 liter event waterproof um, Sea to Summit compression sack. Love this thing. Um, and then I have my MSR Hubba NX1. This is my tent. Thing is bomb proof. I absolutely love anything that MSR makes. Um, and this is in a 10 liter uh, event dry compression sack. Same thing from Sea to Summit. Tent poles, tent stakes. I'm carrying um, seven stakes. I can pitch it with a, uh, six, but I'm just going to carry one extra. Moving on to the clothes, um, I have three socks here. I never backpack with three socks, but I read in the forum somewhere uh, somebody recommended sleeping with socks just because of the wet grounds you're going to be walking in. Um, and one of these smart wool socks can pull the moisture away from your feet while you're sleeping. So um, I'm going to take that on board and, um, and carry an extra pair of socks this year. Um, active Ice Outdoor Research Sun Gloves. Um, I, I don't like the sun. I love the sun, but you know, I burn way too much. Um, insect shield head net for all the bugs down there. Capoline Patagonia um, quarter zip mid layer. I absolutely love this thing. I've never backpacked without one. 
synthetic uh, North Face jacket, puffy. Um, love that thing. It's been in my pack since the AT, and it's still kicking, so I'm going to keep using it. Um, outdoor research, uh, helium, I think. Uh, rain jacket. I'm still on the fence about carrying one of those. It's going to be really humid down there. Um, so, I mean, we'll see. Sleeping gear, I have a pair of uh, Salomon running shorts. Standard um, synthetic blue shirt. Uh, what I'll be hiking in every day is a pair of Under Armour running shorts, leggings uh, from Under Armour as well, and then uh, an Exficio white um, button-up 50 UPF um, shirt, so that'll be nice. And then, I don't know if this is really necessary, but I have a, uh, a beanie, super minimalistic, thin from Marmot, but just in case, just for fun. And then, uh, to top it all off, I got the Outdoor Research Sun Hat. Um, staying protected from the sun. I am going to be carrying a pair of uh, zero shoes. They're sandals. Um, I don't normally carry uh, camp shoes, but I'm going to need to get my feet dry in the evenings and have something to wear. So, so I'm definitely going to rock a pair of these. And um, then on to the Ultra Lone Peaks. I've never worn a pair of Ultras before, but I'm going to give it a whirl this year just for fun. And then all these clothes here are going to go right into this Sea to Summit uh, 10 liter um, Cortec dry sack. So, um, yeah, that just about covers it all, y'all. Um, appreciate you watching and um, stay tuned. I think I'll have a four part series for the Florida Trail coming up. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Happy trails.